now we're going to review the measurement tools. So to get to the measurement tools, you want to take a measurement, click up here, display on screen measurement button. And the last tool that you used uh, came up. So again, in order to measure properly, you need to go down to the calibration button, choose the magnification setting that you're on, on your video measurement system or microscope. Okay, you can also again set the color that you want of the crosshairs, red and blue and what text and what size text you want. Let's make our text red. Okay. So, we've got the measurement tools available. We have the dimensions up here. So let's go through each one. If I right click, it brings up, again, we have the drag tools or the click tools. So the drag tools have the rubber banding effect. So we can have crosshair cursors. So I can stretch either one of these out. You'll notice one's red and one's blue. I can also grab it in the center by holding the left mouse down and moving it. This can be very useful for live go no go scenarios where there should be a feature in a specific area. If I right click again, we could just put a standard dual crosshair up that's dotted. Okay. If you want a single crosshair, you would do a pixel value crosshair. And that allows you to set a crosshair in the middle or at any location that you want. And if you had a stage based system, you could move the part underneath that crosshair or use that crosshair to do a digital readout measurement. If we wanted to do a drag tool line, say from this feature over to this feature, you just hold the left mouse down and when you're done you let the left mouse up and it will put that line there. If you want to keep that line on the image or print this dimension, you right click and you come down to screen print measurement. You will notice that it'll put that dimension, that length measurement right there. And basically it puts it in the same location as where you hold the mouse and hold, pull up the menu. So that will leave that dimension on the screen. If we do line with guides, this gives us a tool where we can rotate in any direction. This can become very useful. I can again grab it from the middle and rotate I'll move it any direction that I want. The way this tool works is you start with the left mouse, hold it down and that's where the first line starts and then you rubber band it across to the dimension that you want. So if I wanted to have that dimension 33 thousandths over here printed on the image because I'm going to document that. I right click, hit screen print measurement, and it will be on the measurement. Now, uh, if I want to undo the last measurement that I did, I come up here and click undo. I also have the ability to export the data to Excel, which is useful. And let's just go through the other tools. This is the circle with guides tool. So you can set this up nicely as a go, no go scenario. You can set up an inner or an outer diameter uh, with tolerancing, or you could measure that circle or see how well that's positioned. You could set up a number of those if those features should be at those locations. Then there's the angle tool. So if I want to know the angle of uh, this particular line, I hold the left mouse down, come across, let it up, and it will extend out to the angle that I want it to be. Here's the angle, 89 degrees. Again, if I want that to be on the image, right click screen print measurement puts it at that location. This is a useful tool called perpendicular to line. So perpendicular to line, when I choose that 
I'm able to left mouse click here, draw a line, which is good for a skew line. And then any location that I stretch this out to, it will give me, you'll notice up in the left hand corner, the perpendicular distance. So if I want to know the distance from this line to the outer point of that circle, 903. If I want to know to the center of this, 221. Okay. Then we have um, click tools. So let's say we want to clear all of the measurements that we've done so far. We can clear and we can right click and go to a two point line. So with a click tool, if I want to know the distance from here to here, I left click at that point, left click there and then click where I want that dimension to be displayed, 304. This area here gives you some instruction on what's required, how many points are required for a click tool. So I'll right click and let's say we do a four point angle. So I click, 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 and it will give me that angle between those four points. Four point radius, click, 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 and click. You'll notice that up here it'll say click the mouse for where you want to position the label and it will give you what that dimension is. Now you can display things in diameter or radius. Uh, in order to change that from diameter to radius, I can go to settings. I can go to measurement and here I have it displaying diameter. If I click on that and say done and now if I go and do a, another radius click two three four it's now displayed as a radius. So again you can set up these dimensions um, for feature analysis as well.